Look and read. Flying free, flying high, flashing wings across the sky. Jordy racer, Jordy racer, on the road, in the street, hear the sound of pounding feet. Jordy racer, Jordy racer, don't wait, don't stop. You're heading home. Don't rest. Don't drop. You're heading home. In the air, on the ground, see them moving all around, running hard, flying fast. See them all go rushing past. Jordy Racer, fly. Jordy Racer, by Christopher Russell. One, runners and flyers. The Hiltons were out running. At least, Mam, Dad, and Kath were running. Spuggy, and Plod the dog, were just watching. Go away, Kath! Faster! Yelled Spuggy as Kath raced by. Very funny, puffed Kath. She and Mam and Dad were training hard. Soon they would be taking part in the Great North Run. They would be running all the way from Newcastle to South Shields. Thirteen miles, for fun. Spuggy and Plod weren't runners. They just didn't see the point. They walked home. Back home, Spuggy switched on the television. Somebody was talking about. <whistles> the Great North Run. So he switched it off again. Then he switched on the radio. Mickey Stone of Radio Newcastle was telling listeners that running keeps you fit. So Spuggy switched that off as well. He went off to the allotment to feed his racing pigeons. Plod settled down for a sleep. On his way to the allotment, Spuggy met his friend Janie Chung. Janie was excited, because the ship her dad worked on had just arrived in the River Tyne. It had been away a long time. Spuggy wished his dad still had a job. But at least his dad was home a lot. That was nice. Spuggy let the racing pigeons out for their exercise, and watched them flying over their loft. He thought pigeons were great. They could fly hundreds of miles in a few hours, and always find their way home. It didn't matter where a race started; they always homed to their own loft. Nobody knew how racing pigeons did that. They were just special. And the best racer of all was Blue Flash. No pigeon could beat him. How can you tell which one is Blue Flash? Asked Janie as the pigeons flew down to feed. They all look the same to me. Spuggy picked up Blue Flash. I can tell because I know him, he said. But every racing pigeon's got one of these rings. He showed Janie a small ring on the bird's leg. And each ring's got a number on it. It's a bit like car number plates. Janie read the number on Blue Flash's ring, T N one four eight seven. Spuggy had to go to the market to buy more feed for the pigeons. Janie went with him. They both loved the market. 
It was a great place just to walk around. Another pigeon fancier, Baz Bailey, was in the pet shop as Spuggy walked in. Is Blue Flash in good fettle for the race on Saturday? asked Baz. I hope he doesn't mind coming second. Blue Flash never comes second, said Spuggy. He will, grinned Baz. He'll not beat my perfect lady. We'll see about that, smiled Spuggy. Hi, man, laughed Baz. We will. Janie went to buy some stotties while she waited for Spuggy. When he came out of the pet shop, they walked down towards the river to eat them. They found a good spot by some rubbish. But just as they settled down, a truck roared up. A man in blue overalls got out and ran towards them. Had away! he shouted angrily. I've come to pick that stuff up. Spuggy and Janie scrambled out of the way, then watched in surprise. The man didn't take all the rubbish. Just one bag, hidden behind the rest. The man threw the bag on the back of the truck, and the truck drove off fast. Thank you.